Now that we understand the mechanism, let's talk about the patients sitting in your exam room. The risk profile for dogs and cats is surprisingly distinct. Dogs, the classic profile. For dogs, we are typically looking at middle-aged to older patients. There is a gender bias here. Females are significantly more affected than males. Breed predisposition. Genetics play a huge role. The poster children for canine diabetes are miniature schnauzers, poodles, dachshunds, and beagles. Concurrent disease. History matters. Dogs with a history of pancreatitis or other immune-mediated diseases are at higher risk. Iatrogenic causes. Always check the medication history. Long-term use of glucocorticoids like prednisone or progestins can induce insulin resistance and lead to secondary diabetes. Cats. The lifestyle disease. For cats, the profile flips. It is most common in males rather than females. The number one risk factor. Obesity. Just like in human type 2 diabetes, excess fat tissue secretes inflammatory hormones that cause insulin resistance. A sedentary indoor lifestyle compounds this. Breed and age. We see this in older cats, and the Burmese breed has a genetic predisposition that makes them notably high risk. Concurrent conditions. Feline diabetes loves company. Always screen for chronic pancreatitis, hyperthyroidism, and the sneaky endocrine disease, acromegaly, which is excess growth hormone and causes severe insulin resistance. Diet. Finally, diet plays a role. Specifically, high-carbohydrate diets, like dry kibble, can stress the feline pancreas over time.